Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, semicircle with a center O fully inscribed uh, in a trapezoid A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the base uh, A, D of this uh, trapezoid is uh, X, whereas this uh, base uh, B, C as uh, Y, and moreover, uh, this segment uh, A, C is uh, 8 uh, units. And this angle uh, BAC is uh, 45 degrees. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X uh, and the value of Y as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. We know this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is 45 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well, since the sum of uh, these three interior angles must be equal to 180 degrees. And now we can see that this uh, triangle ABC is an isosceles uh, triangle, since this angle is 45 degrees and this angle is 45 degrees as well. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, BC is going to be equal to this side length uh, AB. If this side length is Y, then this AB length is going to be Y as well. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle to find the value of uh, Y. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And here in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, 8 units. Uh, and our two other legs are y and y. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, y square plus y square turns out to be equal to 8 uh, square. So let's simplify it to y square equals to 64. Let's divide both sides by 2. This 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore y square turns out to be 32. Now I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking the square root on uh, both uh, sides. So therefore our uh, y value turns out to be equal to 4 times the uh, square root of 2 units. So therefore our y value turns out to be 4 times square root of 2 and likewise uh, y over here is 4 times square root of 2 units as well. And now our task is to find the value of x uh, as well. And now let's recall the two tangents uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point, then they are uh, congruent as you can see in this given diagram. And here we can see this segment uh, AO is going to be equal to this segment uh, BO. And now let's revert our attention back to our this problem. And now we can see out this point E is a point of tangency. So therefore we can see that this segment uh, AD is going to be equal to this segment uh, DE. If this segment is uh, X, then this segment is going to be X uh, as well. And likewise, we are going to apply this uh, two tangent theorem on this uh, part uh, as well. We can see that uh, this segment uh, EC is going to be equal to this segment uh, BC. If this uh, segment uh, BC is 4 times square root of 2, then this uh, EC segment is going to be 4 times uh, square root of 2 as well. So therefore, uh, this whole side uh, CD is going to be the sum of uh, X uh, plus 4 times square root of 2. And now we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job uh, simple. As you can see in this uh, next step, we have created uh, this uh, right triangle uh, CFD. And as a result, we got this uh, square ABCF. So therefore, uh, all uh, these uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, square are equal. So therefore, all these uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, square turns out to be 4 times square root of 2 across the board. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, side length AF is uh, 4 times uh, square root of 2. And this segment uh, AD is uh, X. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining segment uh, FD is going to be 
4 times the square root of 2 minus uh, x and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CFD and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to find the value of x and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 4 times square root of 2 plus uh, x and our other two legs are 4 times square root of 2 and uh, 4 times square root of 2 minus x so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, 4 times the square root of 2 whole uh, square plus uh, 4 times the square root of 2 minus uh, x uh, whole uh, square is going to be equal to 4 times square root of 2 plus uh, x uh, whole uh, square so let's simplify the square of this one is going to be 32 plus and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it uh, on this uh, binomial on the left hand side so therefore this is going to give us uh, 32 minus uh, a times the square root of 2 times uh, x uh, plus uh, x square is going to be equal to and now let's recall another famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it uh, on this binomial on the right hand side so therefore this could be written as uh, 32 plus uh, a times the uh, square root of 2 times uh, x uh, plus uh, x uh, square and now we can see this 32 and 32 is gone x square and x square is gone uh, as well so therefore we are ended up with uh, 32 minus uh, a times the uh, square root of 2 times uh, x uh, is going to be equal to a times the uh, square root of 2 times uh, x and now i'm going to move uh, this uh, term to the right hand side so therefore uh, we can write uh, 32 equals to a times the square root of 2 times uh, x and plus uh, a times square root of 2 x uh, as well and now we are going to combine these uh, like terms so therefore we can write this one as uh, 16 times the uh, square root of 2 times uh, x uh, equals to 32 now we are going to divide both sides by 16 times square root of 2 and we can see this is uh, gone so therefore uh, our x uh, value when we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 2 divided by square root of uh, 2 and now we are going to rationalize this uh, denominator by multiplying uh, and dividing by square root of 2 at the very same uh, time and now we can see at the denominator square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to be simply 2 so therefore uh, this could be written as uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 divided by 2 and here we can see this uh, 2 and 2 cancels out so therefore uh, we can write uh, that our x value simply turns out to be square root of 2 units so therefore we can see our this uh, x value turns out to be square root of 2 so therefore after all the calculations and manipulations our x value turns out to be square root of 2 unit and likewise our y value is 4 times square 2 units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye